right, so this ain't gonna be so much of a reaction as it will be a review. I absolutely love this comedian. Like I said, I'm gonna start introducing y'all to some of the comedians I loved to take and listen to when I was growing up. I love comedy. I've always loved comedy. This cat right here, first time I heard him, me and my stepbrother, driving home from the mall, we just bought his first CD, and he had to pull over and take the CD out and put something else in. We had to finish it once we got home because he couldn't see through the tears from laughter while driving. So this is from, this is Rodney Carrington, put your clothes back on, recorded live. Now this is a review, basically me introducing y'all some of the stuff that I absolutely love. Yes, I've heard this. So is this the reason why it's not going to be labeled a reaction? It's going to be more review. Let's get into it, shall we? How many of you boys ever been drunk when I'm with a fat girl? Yeah. <laughs> Some of you are out there going, shut up, fucker. She's sitting right next to me. <laughs> if you laughed at that, you're in trouble. I went home with a fat girl once a bunch of times. <laughs> I love and, and I don't, there's some of his stuff. I don't care how much I've seen it. I always laugh. And this is just, it's one of these, this is one of the bits that always just gets me this entire thing. But it's funny because he's, he's not one of the better known comedians here as far as like, he's a country comedian, but I, I say he's not one of the better known. There's a lot of people that know about him, <laughs> but, and he packs, a, he packs a house, but. Uh, a lot of times you, you hear of a country comedian, you're thinking at least here in the United States, you're thinking of like Bill Ingball, Jeff Foxworthy, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. And I don't know how the hell Ron White got thrown in there because he just, it, <laughs> I don't know if I'd classify him as country. He's more of a traditional uh, storytelling type comedian. But Rodney Carrington definitely... It, not only does he tell jokes, but he also takes and sings and stuff like that. So yeah, he's <laughs> most, and he's he's got pretty dang good singing voice, to be honest with you. And I loved every one of them. I went home with this forty-three-year-old nurse when I was in college. I was twenty-one. She was a big one, but she was fun. We got back to my place, and she gave me a penicillin shot before we did anything, which I thought was really <laughs> nice of her. <laughs> A lot of women won't tell you there's something down there that'll get you, but this old gal had a heart and she cared about people. <laughs> I think she's a hospice nurse or something. <laughs> All those memories. Memories. Like the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories. Like I said, That's he's got a good singing voice. Scattered pictures of the times that we once shared Love we gave to one another That's the way we were I'll never forget her, she laid down on that bed and whipped back that comforter and said, get after it! And I fucked shit out of that comforter. <laughs> I was so drunk I didn't know what I had a hold of. And then I jumped on top of her and I couldn't touch a mattress with either hand. I had to kind of balance myself up there. And she was patting me on the back like she was burping a baby. And I burped once and I think I pooted twice. And she said, you're cute. You're not anywhere near the hole, but you're cute. <laughs> I said, well, you got too many choices down here, Sally. You give me a minute and I'm gonna find me one I like. <laughs> and I did. Put your clothes back on. I'd rather be alone You think it's all worn out Now get on home Okay, before this goes any further Yes, he's a wee bit raunchier than anything Than a lot of what we've looked at on this channel But and He is absolutely hysterical At least in my opinion You don't like him, that's on you I can't say anything for your sense of humor Or lack thereof but I like him you think it's all worn out, now get on home You've had too many lovers, they want off the hair There ain't no way I'm going in there, but 
but she goes <laughs> on and get on home. I should have never gone out. I should have never had a drink. Take that thing outside, it's dark to stink. <laughs> Your friends done told me where you have been. And I feel sorry for all those men that put your clothes back on, baby. Get on home. Yeah, get that thing away from me. It looks like something your dog would eat. I've seen enough and now set me free. I think that thing just barked at me. Early this morning it bit my leg. Oh, little darling, don't you make me beg. I put your clothes back on. Get on home. You'd have to think he's saying about somebody would want it looks like probably, you know, many folds of roast beef or something like that. You know. Maybe maybe some some marks down there you probably don't want to see. Oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> I need medical care. I think three midgets just crawled out of there. Well I was fine. Before you came, would you throw something over that pitiful thing? Baby, put your clothes back on and get on home. Yeah, put your clothes on and get your booty back home. Go on. There we have it. That's Rodney Carrington. I absolutely love his stuff. And this one right here is just because, like I said, there's a lot of his stuff that I've heard, I don't know how many times, and every time I hear it, I laugh. Just cause it's funny regardless of how many times I've heard it. This one right here, just, I don't know. I, I, I searched Rodney Carrington. I was like, I like this one. I'm going to play this one. I could, I'd have to blur out a part of show them to me because, well, he says show them to me and he's talking about boobies and there's a girl that's in one of the rows and she, she damn sure shows them. She's proud of them too. Uh, He's got a couple other songs, Titties and Beer and Dear Penis and, uh, yeah. So, he's got songs like that, but he's got a lot of, he he also does like the, you know, the storytelling type jokes and stuff like that. And yeah, he's just absolutely hysterical to me. Um, I like all kinds of comedy, if you can't tell. And this is, uh, probably not going to be up some of y'all's alley, but for me, this is, um, yeah, yeah. He talks a lot about stuff that he, he's he's a bit raunchy and perverted, and well, it could be raunchy and perverted, so that's the reason why I like it. <laughs> so, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this, or at least found some kind of humor, or you know, don't decide to take and let me know how much it offended your sensibilities in the comments because I really don't give a shit. <clears throat> I find it funny. I just want to introduce somebody I find funny the way y'all have for me. So, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.